Hey, 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 Dennis here with you. Coming from the beautiful Cincinnati Razorback Room in the heart of downtown suburbia, Siloam Springs, Arkansas. Beautiful June day outside, great day for baseball. That band you hear in the background right there, one of my favorite 70s bands, a little tune called Wells Fargo by a band named Babe Ruth. Kind of brings me to what we're gonna do today. We're gonna we're gonna explore the all-time Yankees, first in my series of all-time teams. And I'm just gonna give you basically my starting eight position players, a starting pitcher, and a relief pitcher. And I'm gonna try to do this for every team. And today we go with my most hated team, the team that I despise the most. So we're going to start with the New York Yankees. Teams won more championships than anybody. You either love them or you hate them. And let's just start right up on the first base side. Their all-time first baseman, Lou Gehrig. 493 homers, 2,130 consecutive games. A slugging percentage of six. 32. Over 2,000 RBIs, 179 OPS plus. Probably the greatest first baseman ever. Second base, let's go right on. There's no argument about that. Second base, a little controversy. Some people are going to say something. Some are going to say somebody else. I'm going to say the one that I like the best for the Yankees. One that I can stomach the most. Not a Hall of Famer. Willie Randolph. The Yankees second baseman of the 70s, early 80s. Played on the championship teams of 77 and 78. Tremendous fielder. Great maneuverable, maneuverer of base runners. Could push a runner up, lay the ball down, hit the other way. Just a great bat handler. 276 lifetime average. Stole 271 bases. Yeah. Scored over 1,200 runs. He's my all-time second baseman for the New York Yankees. Shortstop, any doubt about this one? I mean, no-brainer right here. Just retired a surefire Hall of Famer, 260 homers with a 310 lifetime batting average. <coughs> and nothing to sneeze at, Derek Jeter, 115 OPS plus. Great baseball player, Derek Jeter, and I even like him. I mean, great ball player. We get a little controversy here. I'm going to tell you, this guy could carry the glove, and he made those '70s Yankees teams into championships teams with his holding down of the hot corner. Craig Meadows, 961 fielding percentage, well above league average. 248 lifetime hitter, 390 homers, over 1,300 RBIs. The guy was solid. Solid hitter, solid, solid hitter. Clutch hitter, you can see that when he played. He got a lot of key base hits and helped propel those Yankees, of the 77, 78 Yankees to the World Championship. So that takes us around the infield. Let's go back behind the plate and here's, here's an easy one, I think, Yogi Berra, who I believe, and I'm a diehard Reds fan, I really believe Berra's better than Bench. I really think he is. I mean, here's a guy right here that's won three MVPs. Three MVPs. Over 1,400 RBIs, 125 OPS plus, 285 lifetime batting average, 358 homers, 10 World Series titles for the New York Yankees. What a ball player. All right, now we're going to have to do a little mixing up in the outfield here. Over in right field, I'm going to put Mickey Mantle. That's where he started. That's where I'm going to finish him off. Mantle played most of his career in center. 298 lifetime average, 536 homers, 172 OPS plus, won the Triple Crown, won the MVP, 1,600 plus RBIs. The guy was, there were 1,600 plus runs. The guy was a machine. When he was healthy, he's probably the best player to maybe ever play the game. A great ball player I had the privilege of watching him play. 
great baseball player. In center field, going with the Yankee Clipper, Joe DiMaggio. Joe and Joe had a 325 lifetime average, hit 361 home runs, had over 1,500 RBIs, OPS plus a 172, which is like off the chart. And who can forget his 56 game hitting streak probably never be duplicated. And in left field, maybe the greatest player to ever play the game. You're going to go with Dave Ruth. Lifetime average of 342, 474 on base percentage, over 700 home runs, 206 OPS plus. Holy cow. Over 2,000 RBIs and 2,000 runs scored. Yeah. There's your left fielder, the babe. Let's go with my relief pitcher. My relief pitcher is going to be Mariano Rivera. 652 saves, all with the Yankees. A 1.00 whip. And through the steroid era, 1.00 whip. Unbelievable. A two. 105 ERA plus, the, the best all time, the greatest all time. 2.21 ERA during the steroid era, which is over two points better than the league average during his time. The guy was a, a machine in postseason play, a machine. Greatest relief pitcher maybe in the history of the game. And for my starting pitcher, none other than the chairman of the board, Whitey Ford. Whitey had a winning percentage of 690, the highest of any pitcher in the Hall of Fame. His 236 wins were all with the Yankees. 2.75 earned run average and a 1.215 whip. 133 ERA plus. Whitey Ford is the chairman of the board for this all-time Yankee team. Hope you enjoyed that. Tune in next time when we'll do another team, probably another one that I hate. Yes, I don't, I'm not a Yankee lover, you can see. <laughs> but I do love the cards and I love the game. All-time Yankees for this episode. Hey, it'd be nice if you'd share this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It'd be great. Help us out a little bit. And uh, tell your friends about Wheels and Diamonds. Hey, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.